Street Week Sweden uh, 2023 and it's day zero here and uh, yeah back here in the garage I was here to the four in the morning last uh, night um, working on the car I had many guys helping me out so thank you so much all of the guys helping me out uh, with the with the car here to finish it for Street Week newly painted here it's a bit too shiny so we'll see what we can do about that Hasse put his arm here, so very good in the new paint, but the big problem is uh, the alternator mm, and um, yeah, could not get it working, that also had some trigger problems, so I've not driven the car anything yet, not one single meter uh, and um, yeah, only here on the lift, uh, still have some preparation work to do, we have a plate here, need to have uh, under the engine to catch uh, oil and uh, yeah all kind of different work mm -hmm. yeah day zero it's inspection day today and the first race is tomorrow so yeah but still some problem i hope we can go soon okay i try to start again now with the exhaust system some guys checking back there and uh, yep So I'm removing the Jaguar alternator there. Saturday today, so it's not so easy to find a new one. Also, checking this clear view. Filter. Looks like pretty much a lot of debris in here. Hmm. Taking the voltage regulator here from uh, Victor's uh, Civic alternator. I don't think it is the same really, but uh, similar. Strange sound. Um, I'm asking for a friend. Is this uh, good or bad? Yeah, clean it out and uh, <laughs> hopefully it's uh, just some debris from the build or something. Alternator is a part here and I uh, think that the uh, diodes here one of the diodes is broken So yeah, we're gonna take it uh, From the other one, but we have to cut the back of the alternator here as well So yeah, a little bit of hope here now for this Jaguar alternator <laughs> After midnight again and we missed the day for the inspection, day zero, so now it's day one and uh, yeah, we were trying to go here now but uh, problem with the lights, some electrical pro problem with this, yeah, old Volvo, but uh, yeah, um, dog is in, we have the tires and uh, um, yeah, 245er, I made a first test drive with the car, it's, yeah, it's working but uh, some camshaft problem on uh, bank number two. Hopefully we can go soon. First miles of a long road trip. So yeah, so far Volvo Guinea doing all good. So yeah, looking promising.
And uh, yeah, a little bit strange because I cannot hear the engine, uh, I don't have a rev limiter and I don't have a shift light. So <laughs> yeah, um, I have to feel the vibrations, depending also on the opponent car, how much does that car sound. But yeah, 130, so yeah, it's very slow. But maybe I have some data to um, adjust something. We'll see. <laughs> made a second pass and uh, yeah time was not better uh, I felt uh, dead when I put in the second gear but yeah we'll see uh, maybe you do another pass but uh, I'm happy that everything is uh, complete here by the way uh, here is the car and uh, the caravan we have everything we need to carry ourselves this week and the team this week here it's uh, LG and uh, VMR Victor Mortensen and uh, Marcus Persson and myself so, yeah, let's go and check some other cars. They have a Corvette here, serious drag racing build. Big wing, really wide slicks. They have a big engine here, Pontiac. Uh, it's boosted, I think. Yeah, turbos, fans is on here. Really long and low. Yeah, I already got into the Forsken Club here. The track is very good here at Mantorp today, so yeah. We have an AC Cobra here. Really cool looking. Uh, I think I will go into more detail later on the week on the, some cars of the engines. It's a little quick uh, check here now what we can find quickly here. Some JDM and some um, American cars. <laughs> the winner from last year had a Chevy 57. This year he stepped up. I think this is kind of an old uh, Pro Stock chassis. With they put the turbo engine in, fueling some methanol. Really nice build this one, full carbon fiber. Really big slicks back here. Really cool that they drive these kind of machines on the street here in Sweden. So interesting to see how this goes. I think they have this black trailer behind it. An uh, old BMW with an uh, Barra engine. Big six cylinder. Working on the fuel system, looks like. This road is one of the fastest as well, one of the other four second cars. 
another full road here, twin turbo Ford T Ford. If you have any particular car you want to see more about, please comment and uh, yeah, I will check them further on another racetrack. Volvo X164, carbon fiber doors. Sounds like a uh, turbo machine. 164, the luxury Volvo. Some of the cars is leaving and some are ready for transportation. Good ventilation here for the passenger. They're going south. Yeah, here you can see, actually they have a checklist here. They are at Mantorp now. We're going to Emma Buda, race there tomorrow. Malmö, day after tomorrow. Then we're going to Vårdgårda, Laxo. And then uh, the final day here next Saturday will be at Mantorp again. But that's no racing, just uh, the finish line. 3000 GT or Dodge Delph, yeah, with a little trailer, yeah, some leaving, diesel Mercedes. Some cars have uh, pretty interesting uh, transportation tires, big ones. I think someone, uh, some is removing the superchargers for the transportation. Uh, Pro charger here. Not sure if this is the case, but I guess so. Tolander with a 242, V8, and the HAP95 gearbox, I think. And void rims. This car is uh, a car I definitely do want to uh, check back to uh, this El Camino and uh, this one have been winning the category I'm running in the Pro Touring category uh, last couple of years and uh, looks like it's an EFI engine, um, normally aspirated, but uh, it's a sleeper. Back here we have a big turbo, intercooler and uh, yeah the charge pipe is going through, so this is just a fake air filter. Yeah, I mean, we can see silicon pipe there, so it's uh, um, the charge air is going in there. And the normal headers there, but they're going back to the turbo. So this one is a fast one in the Pro Touring category. And uh, if I have not told before, uh, I'm running uh, this year is no competition really. I, my car will not make any times uh, in uh, this category. Yeah, here we have the winners, winner stickers. But I will check this car a little bit later on and uh, talk with the owner. We have an Opel with a 16 valve Volvo engine. Nice build, really nice paint. Looks like some airbrush work and the uh, nitrous back here as well. Krabata. Some guys do not have a trailer, so yeah, they build on the tires back here. Some oil. They have the jack here on the side. You have to be smart with the packaging. I hope to put out several videos uh, along this week and uh, maybe not so good editing and quick edits and uh, guys from Finland I think I saw these guys left as well and Rod I think T23 these are called Balja in Swedish with a uh, roof rack here big box fuel tank looks like made of a uh, beer cage beer uh, bottle what is it here we have Jonas with a GTR, just made a uh, 611 pass. It's uh, 1400 horsepower in that one, GTR, but I think it's running a little bit less power for now. Drive Opel is here again, with a sub engine, big turbo. 
It has never been so many four second cars at Sweet Week Sweden. Here we have another one, I think. In takeoff. They hadn't had gasket problem. They have had gasket, but uh, hopefully nothing else is uh, damaged and they can repair it and keep on. Looking really slick, this one. And uh, Max Outlaw is the category for the yeah the fastest cars. You can run whatever you want. Uh, actually, I don't think it is any rules. It's not allowed with the Zoomies uh, exhaust, but otherwise everything is legal. Run whatever you dare to drive on the street. This is Mikkel Vesperi that uh, has won a couple of years before and also been uh, in US in driving for, uh, the drag week and uh, yeah sick week. So it's pre uh, brand new build, like in pro mod chassis, if I think. It's an LS engine. New build. I think it has raced before, but not in any kind of street week. Any drag and drive. Before he had the um, Chevy S10 pickup. To save on the drag racing tires, we remove them and put on some street tires for the transportation. And uh, yeah, the dog is so happy to be out on the roads again on the track. Uh, she had been drifting here before on this mantra track and uh, yeah, five years in the garage this car has been, so nice to have it out on the track again, or on the road. Working on the edit here, driving to Emma Boda on some small roads.